What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. I've been wearing Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 44mm Bluetooth variant for the last few weeks and it's time I share my thoughts and opinions and make a quick review video about this particular watch. And if you're planning to buy this watch, then this video may be very, very useful for you guys. So keep watching and if you have any thoughts about this watch, if you have already bought this watch and using it, do share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now let's dive right into the video. Now the first thing I would like to talk about is the battery performance on this watch. I'm very sure you guys would be worried about the battery performance on any of the Samsung Galaxy watches. Uh, so here it is. This watch is giving me about one and a half days of battery life uh, without uh, turning on the power saving mode. And with power saving mode, it can last uh, more than two days. I would say two days or maybe slightly more than two days with power saving mode turned on. Now remember, this is not an LTE variant of the watch. This is a Bluetooth variant. If this is an LTE variant, then this may last one day and maybe slightly more than one day, but may not be more than one and a half days. But if it is a Bluetooth variant, then it should last more than one and a half days without turning on the power saving mode. Now this kind of performance you can get if you're wearing the watch and exercising for about half an hour to an hour in a day. And you will have to set all the health centric features to manual uh, instead of continuously recording all your health features. Now this has been a standard battery performance on most of the Galaxy watches. Uh, you can look at the Galaxy Watch 4 series, Watch 5 series, Watch 6 series, uh, and now Watch 7 series. All these standard watches offer about one and a half days of battery performance, especially the 44mm watch which I have here has got about 425mh battery and it is offering one and a half days. And even the smaller variant, since it has got smaller screen, it should be offering close to about one and a half days of performance. Now, all the Samsung Galaxy watches for many, many years have been taking close to about one and a half to two hours uh, to fully charge the watch. And uh, this is no different. Even this watch takes about a one hour 45 minutes, I would say, uh, for the larger version uh, to close to about uh, 2 hours or 2 hours 15 minutes to fully charge the, uh, the watch. The reason is even today Samsung ships all these watches with 10 watt wireless charging uh, which is Qi wireless charging. As we all know the wireless charging has always been slow even if you look at the wireless charging on the phones uh, after many many years of developments the OEM started offering uh, 15 watt wireless charging and for many years it was just 10 watt and you know it takes hours together to wirelessly charge your phone. Similarly these watches take about a two plus hours to fully charge. And that's actually a pain because let's say if the watch is lasting about one and a half days you will have to charge the watch uh, on the second day uh, afternoon or second day evening uh, but that is going to be difficult so you'll have to probably charge the watch every night or every morning completely you will have to fully charge the watch so that it can uh, stay for the entire day and the second day again you will have to charge it. Now this is an issue, uh, the watches should last at least about 48 hours so that you can uh, charge these watches uh, after the second day of usage but that has not been the case. Uh, in the case of the Galaxy Watch Ultra since it packs a bigger battery it can last close to about three days. So in that watch it is possible but for these regular watches you will have to charge every day. Next, let's talk about the performance on this watch. How is it to use? Is it similar to uh, the Galaxy Watch 6 series, 5 series or the 4 series or is it any better? Now this watch comes with a brand new chipset that is the Exynos W1000 which is based on 3 nanometer process and this seems to be pretty good compared to the predecessors. May it be pulling down the quick panel or notification panel, scrolling through the tiles, opening the applications on the watch is a breeze. It is pretty quick compared to the predecessors so uh, there is no issue with respect to the usability. This comes with the latest One UI 6 based on a uh, Wear OS 5 and uh, you get all the latest features and settings on this watch so it's pretty good as far as the software is concerned. And the watch should be getting about four years of software upgrades. Even today the Galaxy Watch 4 is eligible to get the uh, Wear OS 5 uh, which is One UI Watch 6. So that is on beta testing right now on the Watch 4, Watch 5 and Watch 6. So kudos to Samsung for offering these software upgrades even for the oldest of the watches, uh, Wear OS watches which is Watch 4. Watch 4. Uh, so that's good to see. And even this watch should be getting about uh, at least about four years of uh, major software upgrades. So that is something to note here. Next, let's talk about the durability of this watch. Now this watch comes with sapphire crystal glass on top and that's pretty durable and it is scratch resistant. I have bumped into doors, staircases and objects wearing this watch and uh, it did not get any scratches so far. I've been using the Galaxy watches without any screen protector for the last few years and none of the uh, watches have got any scratches. Of course, I do take care of my watches. Uh, if you're somebody who uh, bump into things too often, then maybe you uh, might
might as well put a, a screen protector or a case for the watch uh, but otherwise it's a very strong watch with aluminium frame and sapphire crystal glass and it is not prone to scratches that easily and even the default band that we get with this watch is pretty cool it's a silicon band and uh, it's very soft touch band that we have and the band has got this blue and uh, orange accents which look pretty cool this new design pattern on the bands actually distinguishes this watch from the predecessors uh, if you look at the watch 4 or watch 5 series uh, which look exactly similar to this uh, you will not be able to figure out which one is which but if you look at this band uh, with this orange and blue thread you will instantly know that this is galaxy watch 7 series uh, maybe because of that reason samsung has added this uh, design element on the bands to distinguish it from its predecessors now how does this watch look does it look cool is it sporty is it uh, classic how does it look exactly now i would say this looks pretty cool it's a very simple and elegant looking watch unlike the galaxy watch classic or the galaxy watch ultra this is actually very simple looking uh, watch and it goes with most of your attire maybe casuals or formals it goes really well and the design as per my opinion it's actually pretty cool and uh, uh, it's been three years samsung has been maintaining this design and maybe the next version would be different or maybe it will be something similar to this with some changes in terms of design elements let's wait and see that now the most important part is health centric features now this packs with almost all the latest health centric features including the ag's index uh, the energy score the sleep tracking the heart rate measurements bp uh, ecg you name it samsung has just packed this watch with health centric features Features. and actually this watch will motivate you and compel you to exercise every day and track your sleep every day believe me these are not just gimmicks it is going to be really really useful if you start tracking your exercises if you start tracking your sleep if you are someone who has got some uh, heart related issues and if you want these ecg readings everything is there on your wrist but of course this is not a medical device you will still have to consult your doctor you will still have to use the actual medical uh, devices to get the accurate readings however having something like this on the wrist is really cool and a Galaxy Watch 7 offers everything that you need and in terms of accuracy I couldn't really test everything I have tested the steps count I've tested the heart rate and I have measured the sleep as far as the step counter is concerned it is quite accurate I have tested it with 100 steps 150 200 steps and all that and it was it came out to be quite accurate no issues with the step counter and I feel that the heart rate measurement has also improved on this watch but this all new bioactive sensor with 13 LEDs now uh, the accuracy uh, has improved I feel at least in my opinion because I have used the Galaxy Watch uh, a 6 series 5 series and 4 series the heart rate measurement was kind of off you know sometimes while exercising it doesn't recognize the heart rate well uh, sometimes it shows the lower heart rate even when I'm exercising extensively so that has been the issue with the predecessors but with this watch it measures the heart rate pretty well without any issues now in one area where the watch was not very accurate is in sleep tracking department I have tracked the sleep for almost a month now and uh, uh, on some of the nights when I wake up in between in the night and if I don't sleep for a couple of hours the watch does not recognize that it shows me the entire sleeping time and it shows very less awake time sometimes you know that's been an issue if you continuously sleep during the night then there is no issue at all it measures the uh, sleep very well but sometimes if you are awake in between then that is where the watch doesn't recognize the sleep the results are not that accurate but most of the nights uh, it has managed to track the sleep very well but yeah, I'm not 100% satisfied with the sleep tracking on this watch and one more thing to note here is if you're wearing this watch for sleep tracking it's very very comfortable to wear and uh, you will not feel that heaviness like the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic or the Galaxy Watch Ultra this is almost half of its weight it's just about 30 grams and it's very very comfortable to wear while you're sleeping so that is something to note here now these are certain things which I wanted to share with you guys now to sum it up the Galaxy Watch 7 is a fantastic wearable device especially when compared to the predecessors this offers a faster processor the battery performance is decent and all the health centric features are amazing and they're going to be quite useful as well and you may be able to get this watch at almost half of the price compared to the Galaxy Watch Ultra where the Galaxy Watch Ultra is meant for fitness fanatics and those people who uh, who track who cycle who do a lot of activities but if you ask me I would rather go with the Galaxy Watch 7 instead of the Galaxy Watch Ultra but yeah there are some issues like I said sleep tracking is not very accurate and the battery performance could have been better it should have uh, lasted at least two days and even the charging speed 
speed is an issue it's just 10 watt uh, Qi wireless charger we get and it takes almost two hours to fully charge the watch so you'll really have to plan and charge this watch whether you want to charge every day uh, in the morning or in the night or whether you want to charge it the second day evening depending on your usage uh, you will have to plan it there are some minor issues but overall the watch is brilliant and i think you should uh, go for it if you're planning to buy the galaxy watch 7 series that's all i wanted to share with you guys you let me know what do you think about this watch if you own this watch uh, share your thoughts in the comment section and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel a lot of you guys watch my contents but you haven't subscribed yet uh, so if you become a part of apex community you will get to learn a lot about your galaxy phones galaxy watches or any other android phone so go ahead subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video useful Full. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.